Hello, it's Jimmy Herder Rollies. I have here an Infiray P2 Pro. This is the world's smallest thermal camera. So if we open up the box, we'll have a look inside what we have. Two pieces here. And in here we have a little bit of paperwork and a cloth. So we have some instructions here. Of course on one side we have Chinese and then we have English on the other side here. So you need to search for the application P2 Pro in your App Store and connect the device. Recommended phone system is Android 9.0 or later. Let's have a look what else it says. The lens should not point to the sun or any other hot surfaces directly during use or storage. Should avoid moisture. Please keep the equipment stable during use and avoid violent shaking. Avoid hard objects touching the lens, of course, and do not violently disassemble the product. So we've also got this in the pack, product certificate. And we have the two units here. So both pieces out and it also comes with a USB-C extension cable. So in your Google Play Store here, or Android, uh, Apple iPhone, sorry, you can search for the P2 Pro app. So we've opened the app up. We need to now connect up our camera. Okay, so I've got it in the back of my van here. And can't see anything hot here. Let's point it at our LED lights. You can see there we have the uh, infrared thermal image there. It shows you the degrees. So if you point the little crosshair in the middle there at whatever you're pointing at, it should give you the degrees, which we have 28.8 degrees on there. So I'm inside my storage shed here, and we'll have a look at a couple of batteries. If we put our thermal image in over there, see how many degrees that battery sits at sorry we're up a little bit there eighteen point eight degrees if we switch the charger on now I'd imagine this battery should start getting a little bit hotter let's point it at the cable twenty two degrees you can see the actual terminal there is a little bit hotter. 24.4. And you can see the temperature is increasing there slightly bit by bit. We're at 26 degrees now. And we can see the battery itself has gone up to sort of 19.7 degrees. You can see there I have hot legs. 30 degrees. You can face the camera towards you, so looking at us yourself there. I am 32 degrees, 32.5. Well, it depends where it's looking at. Get to the chopper. Had to say that. Gives you the reminder of Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Predator there, doesn't it? So now when you take pictures yourself like that, you can go to the gallery and you can see that you have your pictures saved. Now we can also go in here and change the style of the imaging. So you can have it a dark dark colour where the bright white is the hot sections, sort of like uh, you'd get see on those police programs I suppose, yeah, that remind me of. That's the most common sort of image there you'd look at when you think of a thermal imaging camera. Rainbow 3, red hot, and black is hot. So this one is like the darker colour is the hottest section. So now back at the second piece, this is a little macro lens and it is magnetic so you can stick it on the front of the camera and it gives you a closer close up view like basically. So we'll take that off. It looks like we found something on the thermal imaging down there. What is that? Mm. 
So Pebbles has found her way onto the video. What degrees have we got there? It's hard to see it on the camera. 35 degrees? Is that right? Let's start the van up and have a look at some of the temperatures around the engine. Okay, let's have a look over the engine bay. The power steering. Got something hot down here. You are trying to run some hot water, it does look pretty cool. And now, cold, cold water, you can see it mixing around there with the hot water. So, I've got two items on the floor here a tablet and a phone. And you can see there's a big difference in temperature. We got sorry, it's hard to get to see under reflection. But look at the difference on my phone. Tablet is twenty three degrees. So here we have some electrical sockets and an Xbox. As you can see there's the hard drive. All the way up to the cooling fan there. Forty four degrees, forty two. So I suppose this could be used for different sort of reasons, whether you're a mechanic or an electrician or electronics, you know, I don't know. All sorts of different people could use it. So back in my van here I'll show you an interesting one, which one of these batteries were being used. So one of those batteries I was using and one of them has not been used. Let's have a look. You can see there, difference in each each battery there. 20 degrees we've got saying on that one. Twenty-seven, twenty-six on that one. And here I have one on the charger. Again, you can see there the colour. Now if we put the extension cable on, of course then you can move the camera freely around where you like to put it yourself. So let's have a look around a little corner here where we can't get the phone in. I can see in there I've got my inverter. That's the inverter there, I'm running to power some of the electrics. So that's the Infiray P2 Pro camera there. I'll try and put a link to it in the video description. And I will see you on the next video. So there you have it, P2 Pro from Infiray. One last size comparison there. See it's smaller than my big ogre finger. See you in the next video.